Not gonna lie, I think if I was any other champion, we'd probably lose this game. Everyone, it's Enryu, and today we'll be playing Corky ADC, which I personally think is the best ADC on the patch right now. Um, Corky has insane AD ratios, they recently buffed him, and they will buff him again on patch 14.21, so the next patch. Uh, so he's going to be even stronger. So it's going to be very important to learn him now. Okay, first, we're going to make sure we get Manifold on this guy. It's going to be a fight here, I think. Um, Lava surely has to use Flash here. And maybe there's going to be a crazy fight here. That's not very good. I guess it's a one for one. Uh, actually, maybe it could be worse than that. But what is happening? This is like a GM challenger lobby, by the way. Okay. Wow. Some crazy things are happening right now. There's a three for three. Possibly like one more kill happening. Maybe not though. It's case Ante. Anyways, we're gonna walk down um, to this wave right here, and we're just gonna last hit all the minions. Don't don't try to push it or anything. You don't want the wave pushing into the enemy for free. We can try to build our mana flow though. You see like there's 50 right here on mana flow. As long as we get this at 250, we can just spam spells on Corky. Alright, so just against champions like Ezreal, always stand right behind the minions. So if he uh, tries to auto the minions, he's going to have to take damage from you. Essentially, just make sure that the enemies uh, cannot just auto minions for free. Right? If he autos the minions for free, instead of using his Q, then he doesn't have to waste mana. But if you force him to kill the minions, then he's using mana. So you always want to get like these small advantages. I don't think these will hit. It's just too hard trying to hit them, but... Oh, I'm gonna W all over them actually right now. Um, As long as I walk down, Jarvan can't hit me. Like I have to walk in a straight line. And so the wave is pushed. He might try to freeze this. I guess not actually. I would have held it if I were him, because I know that I would have to recall. Alright, now let's try a refillable plus serrated dirk. My goal after getting back to lane is to not let the Ezreal have a free recall. Because Ezreal wants a recall, right? He has bad conditions, he wants to reset. I'm gonna have to try and stop him from killing the wave here. So I'm gonna hit the minions. Trim this wave. So probably kill all minions except for like 3 or 4. And if he tries to recall, we can try to freeze on him. So hold the wave right here. He's probably gonna try and do some damage to us. Okay, he went to ward right here in the tri bush. Essentially, I'm gonna try and push the wave back into him, right? But not too fast, because I don't want to be in his position where I have to get a wave in, and then like the enemy bard can come help him. Obviously, both supports are over there right now. I'm gonna stop him from getting this cannon. Just gonna walk up. nice. I missed the cannon, but I got the EXP, he doesn't, so in my eyes it's a fair trade. Chase him away. Okay, he's gonna lose even more right here. So the, my playstyle is, I can lose, but my opponent has to lose more than me. That's how I usually play. So when I don't get the cannon, and he doesn't either, well, I'll, I think there's like a way that I could have gotten the cannon there, but regardless, it's still a winning trade for me. But you can't always think like, oh, I have to get everything, right? You have to try and make sure that the enemy lose more than you, and that's like the baseline. If you can do that, then you'll be a lot more consistent. So right here, the Ezra is forced to back because he's low. He's going to lose a lot more than me right here, um, even if I recall, right? So he's losing already. He lost last wave. He's losing this wave as well, so that's like over 10 minions. He's in a pretty big deficit now. He, uh, he's back, okay? So he has a Sheen and Longsword. Pretty good buy. Um, in terms of damage... I definitely beat him in all in still, but if he pokes me out with Q, Sheen autos, then uh, it's pretty hard. So as long as we don't get poked out, everything is fine. Stacking mana flow with ultimate. Um, make sure he is always worrying about taking damage and losing minions. There's a fight here, so I'm going to move over there. My Tarek should have been moving already, actually. Thank god. 
Okay, nice flash. We can win this. Nice, triple kill. Uh, can we get this guy? I got stunned. I think I have to do you here. Can't catch up to him, he's a bit too fast and too tanky. It's alright though, we got a lot of kills from that. So the good thing about having Triumph is how much gold we're getting every single time we're skirmishing, right? As long as we get kill participation, we don't always get extra gold. Uh, I don't have mana for this. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, nice. Uh, if we can live here. Okay, we lived. Uh, well played to the Tarek, honestly. He blocked that like a, like a Giga Chad. I'm gonna finish the uh, Collector here, and I'm gonna work into either Triforce or Essence Reaver. So how do I decide Triforce versus Essence Reaver? Well, for one thing, I think Essence Reaver is good second item, um, because it gives you infinite mana as Quirky, which is pretty important. But I think Triforce has better combat power, because it has a Sheen Auto, gives you attack speed and some health as well, right? So the Ability Haste is nice to have, but it's not like necessary. But all these other stats are like really good for Corky. Um, and since I have Conquer, I think I can go either this game, so it just depends on what I have gold for when I recall. I'm gonna walk to Void Grubs. Top solo killed, so I think we should have the Void Grubs. Maybe I don't have to go, but it's just gonna be there just in case. Uh, something crazy is happening. Do they kill? Okay, nice. They kill one, so they should kill all, I think. I'm gonna walk just in case. Oh. Wow, that, that is something crazy. Well, Ezreal is here, so I think I have to be here too. I missed. Um, Not the worst outcome. Okay, so I just click tab. That's why clicking tab is really important. And I see that I have a 700 gold bounty. Now I have to make safer plays. I cannot do what I did anymore. Uh, just like Wing in. I have to go in only when it's safe or when I can give a shutdown to like someone like Bard or J4, you know, like if they get a shutdown, it's not the end of the world. Um, ideally, I don't die, obviously, but if I'm going to die, I want to make sure I die to like one of the people that don't matter on their team. But then again, I think Bard is the best player on their team because it's Vulcan, so he might use the gold well, so it's hard to say, but yeah, they failed the dive. Alright, so uh, I do want to go back bot lane. I think mid lane is not very good for me. Because I'm in the middle of the map. They can make plays on me anytime. So I would like to not be here. I think I would rather lane against the Ezreal because uh, it's very easy to beat him in a 1v1. He can't fight back. I can make him lose like a lot of CS. But against Orianna, it's very hard. She can one-shot me, like guaranteed. Even with like her items right here. And Bard can always roam to me. Jarvan can always just come gank me. I'm gonna go back bot here. It's like perfect too because, uh, wait, hold up. Um, okay, not bad, I guess. Just don't, uh, don't get me stunned. Yeah, not bad. I got really scared there, mainly because I have a shutdown, but I don't think I was going to die anyways. I could have saved my W maybe. Okay, I guess. They're making a uh, play top lane, three of them. It'd be nice if we can get first turret right here. Guys, let's get this please. I think we got it though. I don't think they'll focus the tower. Okay, nice. We got first tower. And I usually don't buy control wards before I hit one or two items, mainly because I think it's a waste of gold, personally. Usually you can tell where the enemies are if you have enough map awareness, or like you can kind of infer, like make an educated guess about where they are. So generally, pink wards are only there to like kind of like make yourself feel secure, you know? I'm gonna put a pink ward right here, make sure it's like well defended. You always want to place your control wards in a spot where you can actually defend, and not somewhere random. So they're putting a bit of damage on us right now, but make sure. T yeah, I didn't want to get the Belveth stunned there. What is going on here, by the way? Yeah, I feel like they used a lot though. 
I'm gonna try and get the uh, blue buff here. Very important for me. If you have Essence Reaver, you don't need blue buff, but if you don't have Essence Reaver, you should want to take every blue buff as long as your other champions don't need it more than you. Reminder that we do have a th uh, 550 gold bounty on us, so we really do not want to be playing too aggressive. We want to make sure we keep our advantage until we are reaching critical mass, which is usually 3-4 items as an ADC. And at that point, then we can 1v9 any game uh, if we are ahead of them, but before then, we should play careful. Two items is strong, but it's not strong enough to like say I can kill them all. 1v5. The recall here, what what damage do they have most of? It's just going to be a steel caps game, I think. Ezreal, J4, Alawi. I could itemize against the Orianna and Bard, but Merc Treads doesn't work well here because they don't have that much CC. So it would be a waste to spend 1000 gold on Mercs. It's going to be a fight here. I think we should be careful. No Belveth. Like, no Corky, no Belveth. We should not fight. I think I can walk mid here, take one wave, and go top if there's nothing happening. If there's a fight, though, I'm going to walk from mid to bot. They could be looking for me right now, though, because they're missing on the map. And Ezreal is playing a little bit more aggressive than usual. Usually, he's, like, really behind. Yeah, so... Yeah, so you have to see those things coming. Even if you don't have wards on a map, like based off of where their last location was, you can kind of infer what they can do. Because I was the only play available on the map. Um, they cannot really kill anyone else besides me. So as long as I'm careful there, they don't have any play. And they dropped Rift Herald mid, so that tower is gone. I'm okay with that. I couldn't have defended that anyways because it's Rift Herald and our tower is low. So... Uh, it's not like I made a mistake going top. This tower, however, I feel like we could defend. Maybe I can flank. And maybe that was a really bad fight. I mean, honestly thinking, I probably shouldn't have flanked. I thought I could kill the Orianna, but she took the Bard portal and I didn't see that. Um, so that was pretty bad by me. Uh, the good thing is, though, that Bard got the shutdown. Uh, this looks like a terrible fight, actually. We don't have Terracle, we don't have anything. I don't think we should fight. I'm gonna try and do as much DPS as I can, but I don't hard. Okay, got one kill. Oh, nice. He flashed and didn't do enough damage to kill her. Okay, they got this tower, but I don't think they got dragon. I'm gonna have to recall ASAP right here so we can fight the dragon. Uh, I mean, Kaysante is not gonna be up when they pull this drag. Maybe we just give? I mean, the fight wasn't that bad, I would say. It's like kind of even as long as we are grouped. I don't think we're in that bad of a spot. He just used flag, by the way. But he just gets out. I mean, I feel like Terra could have hit that stun. It would have been really big, because we can get Baron off that. He just used flag on the Terra. He had no way to get out. Which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, did we kill him still? Oh, that's a big Bard ult, actually. But we do have Terra ult coming down. Okay, nice. I think this is Baron. Nice. I don't think we should overchase. At times, it's pretty important to just take wins and get out. Uh, maybe we can kill the Alawi here. If that doesn't hit, then we shouldn't. This is pretty dangerous, though, I would say, still. Um, Alawi can just clear us all here. But we have to be careful. Can we just force it? Like, I don't know if we can ignore their damage. We are getting pretty low, but maybe Terra can heal us all up. I'm gonna get out of the pit first. Okay, 
Okay, nice. I mean, I killed her. Yeah, I'm gonna get out right here. Jesus, that was a lot of damage. Um, if Kisante can live, maybe. But, like... I'm gonna be careful a bit. Oh my god, that was so close. That was so close, actually. Damn. Okay, I have LDR now. Um, definitely want a shield bow. Definitely want a shield bow. Uh, these fights... I'm getting, like, too low for my own comfort. Like, it, this is out of my comfort zone, so... Let's get a shield bow here. Make sure we're safe. And then, last item, probably gonna be IE. Or BT, depending on the situation. Um, I think I do have enough damage, though. Because Corky passive is really OP. Like, you do true damage. Um, I might need some lifesteal. This is a Baron play that we should use to take at least like two towers. I would be happy with two. Because we were behind before uh, we got the Baron. I would be happy if we can just like even up in towers. I think the next Baron should be like the game winning Baron. Unless the enemies make like a big mistake of course. But I don't think they will. It's kind of hard. Their team comp is really tanky. We can definitely kill the Alawi here though. But my teammate should wait for me. I think I'm actually like the most important member in killing this Alawi. I lied, I lied. Uh, she got one shot. I lied. Wow, okay. Impressive by my team. Maybe we can get more as well. Uh, I think we can get more. It's just like three players on the team with no damage. We can try to go for this tower right here. Art has no ult. Should be careful, but I can play really aggressive because remember that the players on the team have no damage unless Alawi TPs behind us. Uh, but she's not TPing right now, so we don't have to be scared. Um, but we got three turrets. That's good enough, I'd say. Let's just recall. Um, can we recall? I hope there are fruits nearby or something like that. That way I don't have to recall. Okay, there's a fight here. Um, is she dead? She is dead. We might have to give this... Oh, I missed that. Otherwise, it'd be really big damage. Oh, that's really bad, actually. We could have killed the J4 right there if I didn't mess up. Okay, my teammates are getting caught. It's not the end of the world. I just need to make sure I get enough gold. I need this top wave for sure. It's only the second drag. It's not the worst case. Like it, it would be really bad if it was so point that we lost. Um, but this one is whatever. Like the game will at least be going on for 10 more minutes. Unless something crazy happens. Like someone gets caught and then we just like end the game off that. Uh, speaking of the devil. Actually. I have shield bow now. I don't have flash. Uh, so my W usage will have to be very very safe like i cannot waste my w anymore for the next four minutes until my flash comes up i think our team fight is still very strong as long as we can make one pick on the enemy it's either Lawi or ori dies first then they actually have no damage to deal with uh, our front line if she's getting out i can be here i can for sure be here if they over chase they probably just get out the next Objective is going to be Baron. We're going to want to play around the Baron, Nasher. Um, make sure mid wave is pushed out. She's pushing out bot wave right now, but I think Akali can take care of it. She has TP. I'm going to be careful now. Bartolt is going to be big in catching people. I don't think we can kill this guy, though. Like, look at his items. He's so tanky. I don't know about disengage. Especially if Alawi hits that on them. Okay. They're actually too tanky for us to deal with, and my Belleth just wants to get caught permanently, so... I mean, they can't end the game, but it's like so bad. And I don't know if there are any plants that I can take to restore my HP. Alright, so uh, teammates are really tilted. They want to FF. 
Can we still win? Yeah, but it's really hard now. We have to kill the Alawi, and then we have to kill the Orianna as well. The Ezreal is also getting pretty fed. Okay, uh, I mean, Belvis is making a play on the Orianna. I don't think it's going to work out. I guess her teammates should be near her. But yeah, uh, Belvif is dead. That There goes our third Mtech Drake. Let's see if we can make something happen. On the top side here. Okay, I think they, they should kill her. Okay. Um, yeah. Hopefully we can kill this guy. Oh. Tragedy. Okay, we can kill this guy maybe. Nice. Uh, and we're kind of recovering the play, but I'm just going to get out here, I think. No one's going to dash over. I was going to try and kill whoever dash over, like Ezreal maybe. If he eat over, I would just kill him. Like, try to one-shot him. I think instead of my Belveth being, like, extremely cringe, just pinging to, uh... Okay, like... Okay, well, what can I do? Wow. That is a really balanced champion, actually. I think I'm gonna have to go IE here. We don't have enough damage. Akali is too behind. Uh, our Belveth is tilted and trolling. I have to take uh, some camps here. I need my IE ASAP, and I don't think my jungler deserves the gold. She's literally just like griefing the game, not trying to win, pinging the Nexus permanently. I need the gold ASAP so I can carry the game, because I want to win. I don't want to waste 35 minutes, or possibly 40. Just stick a minus 20 to the face. Does he kill the Orianna here? Nice. Well played. Uh, she dies, but. At least I was a one for one because it looked really bad right there. It looks like she was gonna die for free. So the, did the minions just teleport onto my face right there? Do they kill the Alawi? It's looking pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, as you know, E. Hey, nice. Oh, okay, that's really big. We can end, we can end, I think. 50 seconds on two of their big carries. It's just Orianna in 18 seconds, and that's it. That's that's their damage, but Orianna isn't even that fed. No bard here, can we? Yeah, I don't think so. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that's the Oriana ball. Alright, let's just focus the towers here. Just uh, focus up. I'm gonna make sure to use my W to W the J4. Nice, nice, nice. We did it actually. Not gonna lie, I think if I was any other champion, we'd probably lose this game. Uh, but Corky is just too OP.